Hey everyone, this is Jay from Aeroponic Growers and just want to break down a quick, uh, all the parts for an HPA system, um, just really quick and like to the point. Obviously we want to stretch this out more. Um, so starting with our reservoir here, um, I'm coming out of the reservoir, definitely want a filter that's going to come out uh, before the pump, right? So that you're filtering out your nutrients, right? At least one, one filter, right? You can use a DM fit. I uh, just grabbed this one. It's an inline uh, filter with a screen. You can unscrew it, clean out the filter. Um, so that's going to go into the pump, right? The pump is going to pressurize the nutrients. It's going to come through here. It goes through a check valve. Check valve just lets the nutrients go in one direction um, so that it doesn't come back through and fill up your nutrients. From there, you go to your pressure gauge, all right? Your liquid filled pressure gauge. And Right, okay, so let's stop right there. So we got our, our water coming in, our nutrient water, we're pressurizing it back out. Now, here's where the part gets different. So if this is a using a pressure switch, high pressure aeroponic system, okay? So this pressure switch here is what's gonna control the pump turning on and off. That's where these connections come. Most of your pumps will come with uh, the connections to go right into, it's called the wiring harness. Your wiring harness will come with your pressure switch. Your pressure, uh, pressure switch, sorry, um, you've only got so much length uh, to go with the pressure switch, so usually it's close down near the um, pressure gauge. You, you want to have it so that it's um, the closest to the accumulator tank is the best, but then you have that differential of how you're going to get to the chamber, and you don't want to go over two feet uh, in any direction, especially like after here to the solenoid. So the pressure switch is going to stay normally closed until it gets the power to open up, right? So it opens up, it turns on the pump, and now the pump starts to pressurize. This plugs into the wall. Sorry, I didn't say that. This is an adapter, it plugs into the wall. So now as the unit is pressurizing and is filling up the accumulator tank here, right? And once it gets up to the right kind of pressure, this will shut off the pressure switch and that will stop the electricity going to your pump, right? Once this is filled up, it shuts off the switch, cuts the power. So this is an accumulator tank. You wanna make sure that you in inflate back here, you'll see there's just like a tire pump and inside this tire pump, you wanna pressurize your tank inside the air bladder about three PSI under. So if you're running your pressure switch on 80 and 100 PSI, then you want it so that your pressure inside of this tank is about 77 PSI or about three PSI under the pressure switch. One of the most important parts of a high pressure aeroponic system is the passive energy that gets stored and used in this accumulator tank. After there, you're going to get to your solenoid. Now the solenoid is gonna to go to your misters inside your chamber, okay? This solenoid, which I have backwards right now, but this solenoid is powered with a AC to DC adapter. Okay, you can get these cheap. Sometimes you can use a cell phone uh, adapter. Just cut off the tip and ring end there and put it on the uh, DC terminals here. Usually it doesn't matter uh, which way you put them. Um, so that goes to your recycle timer. This one's a near pile. They're the most affordable ones right now. You can get all this off Amazon. Um, I recommend using, uh, so these were our pumps, but I recommend using uh, an Aquatech 8800 series pump and get a pressure switch that is a, they make them in uh, different models. The better models are the 80 to 100 pressure, uh, pressure switch and the 90 to 110 PSI pressure switch. They usually come common with 40 to 60 um, and just make sure you order that uh, higher end or higher pressure pressure switch. Um, over cranking it and trying to adjust it up from that pressure switch will, it just breaks it. It doesn't work as well. So we're going through there. Now we got a recycle timer and the recycle timer is set to the timing that you want. I start it with three minutes, uh, three seconds on for every three minutes. Um, I never go over uh, three seconds on and I don't go longer than five minutes off. So this is going to turn the solenoid and it's going to, it's a normally closed solenoid. So it's stopped, right? When it gets the energy, the, and it's usually about 12 volts, nine to 12 volts, it will open up the solenoid. The pressure from here will come out and then come into the chamber. Solenoid will shut up. Once the pressure and the liquid goes down in here under that 80 PSI, this pressure switch will kick the power back on and repeat the whole process, all right? 
Obviously you want to stretch this out further, but this is a high pressure aeroponics system using a pressure switch. This is it right here. All right, good luck. And it's great to be back and working, getting back to helping everybody out.